Muskies. Welcome to week three of our virtual book talks. Uh, we've got a ton of new books in the library right now. So today I have three books for you. Two of them are brand new books and one is an old favorite. Reminder that all of these books are available in the Muskie library. So stop down and check one out or put one on hold. The first book I have for you is one that I read last spring and absolutely loved it. It's Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. It's a graphic novel by Mariko Tamaki. This graphic novel is a sweet and spirited story of young love. It asks us what happens when we ditch the toxic relationships we crave for healthy ones that we need. Laura Dean is the most popular girl in high school and Freddie's dream girl. She's confident, charming, and so cute. There's only one problem. Laura Dean is maybe not the greatest girlfriend. Unsure of what to do, Freddie's best friend, Dottie, takes her to a medium who leaves her with a cryptic message, break up with her. But Laura Dean keeps coming back and as the relationship spirals further out of control, Freddie has to wonder if it's really Laura Dean that's the problem. Maybe it's Freddie who's rapidly losing friends, including her best friend Doodle, who needs her now more than ever. Fortunately for Freddie, there are new friends and advice from an advice columnist named Anna Weiss to help her make it through teenage love. This graphic novel is my favorite style of illustrations, all black and white with one color, this peachy color, that really helps draw the reader's eye as it tells the story. It really is a remarkable way to tell a modern romance story. The second book I have for you today is Moment of Truth by Casey West. Um, this is a funny, easy to read romance novel. It is perfect for anyone who loves watching rom-coms, rom especially some of the new cheesy ones that are on Netflix that I love. Um, so the main character is 16 year old Hadley Moore and she knows exactly who she is. She's a swimmer who's gonna earn a scholarship to college. Totally worth all of the hard work, um, even if her aching shoulders don't agree. So when a guy dressed as Hollywood's latest action figure shows up at her swim meet, she isn't amused. Instead, she's determined to make sure he doesn't bother again, her again and to figure out exactly who he is. The swim meet isn't the first event that the imposter has crashed, but a little digging turns up a surprising number of people who could be the superhero Heath Hall, including Hadley's ex-boyfriend and her best friend's crush. She soon finds herself getting caught up in the mystery of who could be Heath Hall. As Hadley gets closer to uncovering the mystery and figuring out who this imposter is, she discovers some things about herself, including that she might not be as happy with her choices as she pretends to be, and that she might be falling for the last person she ever thought she could like. The Moment of Truth is a novel with humor and lighthearted romance. It, it's perfect for anyone who's a fan of Jenny Hans of all the boys she loved before series. The last book I have for you is one that I usually recommend around the same time every year. The Absolutely True Diary of Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. So this book is heartbreaking, funny, and beautifully written. It is based on the author's own experiences and includes artwork that reflects the character's art. It tells an honest story of being a teenage Native American boy in today's society. So best-selling author Sherman Alexi tells the story of Junior. Junior is a budding cartoonist growing up on the Spokane Indian Reservation. Born with a variety of medical problems, he is picked on by everybody except for his best friend. Determined to get a good education, Junior decides to leave the school on the Indian Reservation and instead enrolls in an all-white high school in a local small town, where the only other Indian is the school's mascot. Despite being condemned as a traitor to his people and enduring great tragedies, Junior attacks life with wit and humor and discovers the strength inside of himself that he never knew he had. The story is especially relevant right now because next week is Banned Books Week, um, a week where librarians and libraries all across the country recognize the fact that a lot of times great books are censored by adults or community members. We spend National Banned Book Week celebrating the fact that students have the freedom to choose their independent reading novels on their own instead of being limited. The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian has been one of the challenge, most challenged books since its publication in 2007. Um, for acknowledging issues like poverty, alcoholism, and sexuality. However, it's a fantastic book and I would recommend it to anyone. I'll be back soon with some more book recommendations. If you're looking for anything special, please leave a comment below and happy reading.